of people don't tell you before you become a mother. You know what guys, just as a little side note as I'm sitting here drinking this, uh, today's vlog might not be very long in general because I do want to make that blog post really bad. I just checked the mail and oh my gosh, look what's here! I want to give you guys a quick update on Ellie because we're really worried about her. We don't know what's going on. Here's what people don't tell you before you become a mother. Everybody is so quick and to jump and tell you how awful the newborn stage is and babies getting up in the middle of the night, the sleepless nights, um, breastfeeding, how hard that is. Everybody wants to tell you that part, the baby part, the newborn part, or up until like the first year. You know what I mean, you know what I mean, under a year old. That's what everybody wants to talk about. Nobody tells you before you become a parent how, what was the word I want to use here? No one tells you how challenging the threes are. The twos and the threes, because this has been going on since Carly was like two years old. No one tells you that. No one tells you that, hey, your kid is going to take their, her Kool-Aid, because this happened last night as I was uh, preparing dinner. Carly decided to take her cup of Kool-Aid, sneak it upstairs. She's not allowed to have drinks upstairs, and she knows this, but she snuck it up there anyway. And she decided to take her cup and splash it, the Kool-Aid, all over my walls and my floor and it was everywhere. If you're on my Snapchat, you saw this. Nobody tells you that. That while you're cleaning in one room, one of their messes, they're just gonna mess up in another. And it's this continuous cycle of cleaning up one mess after another after another. That's why it is three o'clock, it's after three o'clock and I am just now vlogging. And I know there's probably like some of you who are thinking, well, Kristen, if she's so challenging and this is so hard for you, why do you want to have another? Because I would rather deal with the closeness in age, the consequences, pros and cons that come with it, and have them close in age than to have a very large age gap. And that comes with its own challenges. I love my brother, Brayden. I love my sister, Hannah. I love them all very, very dearly. I love them to death. I really do. But it took me so long to have something in common with Hannah because she's nine years younger than me. It took so long. Even when I was 18, she was nine. Like, you know, it just took a really long time. And I just prefer for all my kids to be close in age so they can have a lot of that similarities. They grew up with the same, you know, experiences, the same toys, the same things were in style. Uh, they're into the same things or pretty close to it. I would just prefer that. Yes, it comes with its own set of challenges. Anything does, but I just prefer that. Okay, but I really do kind of need to get up. Ooh. I'm not gonna be able to get up. As fun as that was. I kind of do need to like do laundry, <laughs> get caught up on all of this madness because I got to do some yesterday. I got like three loads done, but if, if you guys saw yesterday's vlog, y'all know that it's a disaster zone in there. So I kind of like do need to go in there and get that done. <laughs> I just wanted to vent to you guys for a minute because yeah, I needed it. I really needed it. Do you see all of that laundry? That's all I got done yesterday. All of that. All of it. Oh my God. Oh my god, that is so much laundry. I don't want to do it. I don't feel like doing it. Well, at least it's done. I mean, at least it got done. And I'm not even completely finished. I gotta do some more of it. Yay! You know, while the girls are napping, now would be like the prime time to drink one of my smoothies and get a workout in. So I think I might do that. I haven't had one of my smoothies in a while. I think I'm going to today. I'm trying to like save it because I don't have very much of my protein shake left and it needs to last me until not this Friday but next so I'm like ugh, I'm trying to conserve it but I really want one today I haven't had much of a lunch so this will be like part of it I don't know how many minutes I am now into this vlog, but I just realized I haven't even greeted you guys yet. 
Today's been, today's been stressful, I'm so sorry. Hey, man, family, how's it going? So sorry it took me so long to say that, oh my God. It's almost four o'clock, so I'm gonna finish this smoothie and work out, get the girls up at some point make dinner, but it's not gonna be a dinner that's gonna go in the recipe vlog. I don't even know what it's gonna be, to be honest. I haven't even dethought anything, so. Mystery dinner tonight, and I have no idea. We're just gonna wing it. We're winging it today. You guys keep asking for more daily life vlogs, so I'm winging it. We're just gonna do it. You know what, guys? Just as a little side note, as I'm sitting here drinking this, uh, today's vlog might not be very long in general because I do wanna make that blog post really bad. This has been on my heart for a really long time. I finally need to just sit down, type it out, feel my feelings, cry a little bit, and get it out. You guys know that I am very big into mental health. I think it is very important, and this is something that I need to do for my own mental health. I can't believe the girls actually let me drink that whole smoothie, so while the going's good, I might as well get this workout in. Oh my god, I'm dying! Well, that was fun. Now let's go get the girls, because it's 4.30, they've been taking a nap since like 2 o'clock. I'm not letting them sleep any longer, or tonight going to bed is going to be miserable. So, time to wakey wakey! Hi. You were already awake, you just sitting here chilling? Yeah. Just relaxing? Oh, look how sweaty you are. Look, your hair's sticking to ya. Oh my god, you're, yeah, bath time tonight for sure. Look at that, you gotta put your hair back up. My goodness. Did you have a good nap at least? Yeah. Feel better? Yeah. Okay. Carly, Carly, Kinley and Andy. Andy needs a bottle so bad. Hi, Kins. You were already half awake too. <laughs> stretch, stretch. Oh, you're kind of sweaty too, look at you. Are all of my babies sweating this fever, sickiness out? Yeah, <laughs> stretch some more. <laughs> She's not having it. She's not doing it. Andy, Andy is still knocked out. I kind of want to let her sleep, but I, she needs to get up. So, <laughs> wake the sleeping baby it is. Andy, oh, good morning. <sighs> You're the only baby that isn't sweaty. <laughs> Is it time for bottle? Yes, mom. Look how big you're getting. I can't handle, I can't deal. I can't deal. Uh, your first birthday's next month and I'm all in tears. Uh-huh. I just checked the mail and oh my gosh, look what's here. I'm so excited, I wanna see it so bad. I got so excited, I forgot to film actually opening it, but look how pretty, oh my god! I love it so much, the cute little snowflake, and look at this tutu! Oh my god! They had a bow that went with it to like put in her hair, but Miss Andy, you have some crazy hair, girlfriend. It only wants to stay up in a ponytail. It's so thick that it won't go up in a headband. It just looks weird. So we went with no headband. We'll just put it up in a ponytail. I got this from Kennedy Claire, and I really like this boutique. I think I bought Carly, Kinley, where is she? Kinley's uh, first, first, second birthday shirt from her too. And I really recommend her, so if you guys want to go to KennedyClaire.com or her Etsy store, really recommend it. Oh my gosh, I can't deal. I can't deal with how cute you are. Look, it's so cute. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> and now that I'm done fangirling over her first birthday outfit, let's get her a bottle. Are we doing good with this whole drinking our own bottle thing today? We're doing good? What's wrong? Pee. Oh, you peed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, we do need to change you. Charging. You want me to charge your iPad? Yeah. Okay, you've been really good since this morning. So, I'll charge your iPad. I want to give you guys a quick update on Ellie, because we're really worried about her. We don't know what's going on, and I just, I don't know what to do. So, I'm just going to like, yeah, hold on a second. So, about Miss Ellie... She has sat there all day, all day. She won't really go any further than her cage. 
and she's limping on her left leg. She won't put her left leg down. Deva and I have tried to figure out what's going on, like if it's broken. We've gently pressed on it to see if she would, you know, respond in pain, and she isn't. It's, it doesn't matter what you do. Honey, I can't hold you right now. Oh my God, this is how zoomed in it is. I can't hold you right now, just one second. And we don't know if it's sprained or, you know, if she pulled a muscle or what it is. So we're just going to watch it. We don't really know what else to do. If it's a pulled muscle, then it, it just has to heal on its own. If it's sprained, it just has to heal on its own. But it doesn't seem to be broken because she's not really responding in any kind of pain. So I don't know. I'm tempted to call a vet, but I'm pretty sure that they're just going to tell me the same thing. So, I don't know. We're just going to watch her and see what happens if she's okay. I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys. I really want to write this blog post. It is so important to me. And I have to edit this vlog. And I have to make dinner. I have to put lunch away. i got a lot to do still. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, there are links down below. And also down there is a link to my other channel. And I'll see you guys later in the new vlog. Bye, guys.